Hello and good day everyone. In today's session, I'm going to discuss about one of the important components of mechanical engineering installation. This component we call as air conditioning installation. Air conditioning installation is important for the uh, Malaysian climate because we are a tropical country and to uh, produce what we call um, ambient environment in our building, we need the temperature is between 20 to 24 degrees Celsius. Our outside uh, temperature is about 35 to 37 degrees Celsius. We need a proper uh, air conditioning insulation in building to make sure in uh, Malaysia we can enjoy, we can uh, pro uh, develop the good working environment in our building. Normally, engineer will uh, com communicate with us using a drawing. Engineer will uh, tell to us what type of the component, what type of the equipment of the air conditioning installation in building using what we call uh, air conditioning installation layout. This is an example of the layout of the drawing, which is uh, uh, first the layout, where is the location of the equipment, and second, the aircon schedule or air conditioning uh, schedule, which contain the location of that particular uh, equipment, the cooling capacity, and the type of the aircon, whether uh, you need to uh, install to the wall or also uh, use, uh, you put inside your ceiling. This is the normal practice in Malaysia, which is uh, we have two or three type of the air, air conditioning installation in building. And um, engineer also show to us the schematic, how to connect from uh, uh, what we call FCU, fan cooling unit, to the outdoor unit, which is condenser unit, which is we using the piping system, we are using the copper pipe to transfer or to uh, transfer the the gas or cool gas from the condenser unit to the fan cooling unit, as shown in our drawing. And this is the detailed schematic, uh, the connection between outdoor unit and also the connection to the indoor unit. We have two types of the uh, supply pipe and also written pipe. And the diameter of the supply pipe, little bit uh, what we call lower compared to the diameter for the uh, written pipe. Uh, small size, which is, uh, for example, uh, 13. Uh, mm diameter for the supply and maybe 25 26 mm diameter for the written pipe depend to the the requirement or technical specification by the manufacturer different manufacturer they have different uh, technical specification and the insulation very important uh, for supply pipe you need to insulate to make sure that we can control the the temperature of that particular gas to be supplied uh, to the FCU. And another pipe is uh, what we call a uh, condensed pipe or uh, uh, the pipe which is uh, we are using normally PVC pipe and uh, from the FCU we uh, channel which is the, the cool water and etc to the nearest street. There are three types normally for this uh, air conditioning installation supply and return and condensed pipe. Okay, And the supply pipe we uh, do the insulation and uh, finally we need to have electrical system as uh, when we uh, discuss in the module uh, 2 we discuss about electrical installation we have DB we have DB uh, to provide what we call a socket a switch socket outlet to the uh, air conditioning installation this socket outlet normally already consider in the electrical installation but if you do not have the drawing you need to assume that as a contractor or design consultant you need to assume that we need one electrical supply to make sure that we can operate we have power to operate our condenser unit okay this is uh, what we call air conditioning installation in building and this is the another drawing which is uh, the location you can see the location in the red color the location for the indoor unit which is FCU fan cooling unit and then the blue color is for the outdoor unit for the condenser unit which is outside the building this is the location and uh, the layout of each of the uh, equipment whether in this what we call uh, in the space or the area dedicated area and this equipment normally we have the aircon shadow ok 
okay i can show you the location of the equipment and also the cooling capacity and type of the air contact we need to install okay air con schedule very important for engineer to communicate and finally the air con schematic this is the drawing or technical specification technical drawing provided by the engineer uh, to make sure that we can prepare the bill of quantities for for uh, air conditioning installation and to prepare the bill of quantity we have the list of the item and the red the uh, yellow color the yellow color is for the air conditioning installation split unit you we need to have the uh, one prembles which is general notes to the contractors second the equipment equipment for the air conditioning installation for split unit we using the condensing unit and fcu and pipe works supply and return pipes and also condensed pipe insulation to the pipe works and builders work in connection uh, for builders work in connection uh, i would like to remind you that we have also a few uh, builders work for example excavation uh, you need to do the concrete base you need to do the steel work support for that particular uh, mechanical engineering installation and you need to consider in the uh, bq and electrical system as uh, we discussed earlier we need uh, we need to check with electrical engineer whether they already provide for our electrical supply for that particular air conditioning system all right and finally testing accommodation name for the satisfaction of the engineer this is the what we call a list of the item or the work process for the air conditioning installation split unit for the um, what we call central unit which is we need to add few item which is in the blue color uh, the yellow color which is uh, the item in the yellow color to the blue color which is we need to add ducting supply and return duct ducting fitting all the accessories and also the duct work support how to hang the the ducting to the uh, what we call floor or to the to the uh, beam and etc and uh, finally equipment to the ducting which is diffuser grills and damper we can uh, uh, discuss further in the what we call in the module okay this is the the main uh, equipment or main uh, list of the processes for the air conditioning installation for split unit and also for the central system okay this is i divided uh, the air conditioning installation the main system we have the split system which is a unit system and a central system we uh, discuss uh, later after this in the module and also the package system package system is for the medium size building if a split system or unit system for the small size uh, area or small size building central system for the uh, large size building for example multi story multi story building for example 30 stories apartment 30 story condominium we need to have this central system okay or uh, uh, what we call a huge size of the uh, of the building for example the uh, commercial complex shopping complex um, what as uh, airport airport we need to have a central system library we need to have central system which is we uh, we need to use the large size of the air conditioning installation and this is the uh, what we call infographic very basic infographic what is the component for the measurement of the air conditioning installation first you need to have the equipment for example we have two equipment here condenser unit and also the fan coil unit and we need to connect this equipment using the pipe work and all the pipe work supply pipe need to be insulation need to uh, do the insulation and electrical appliances electrical system uh, builders were in connection and finally testing and combination about seven of the a main item for the air conditioning installation okay builders work and also the testing and commissioning and i would like to discuss with you how to uh, 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 calculate what is the formula to calculate the cooling capacity in one building this is the basic calculation undertaken by design team how to make sure that we know what type of the uh, cooling capacity what is the amount of the cooling capacity needed in one building in one area of the building i would like to show with you uh, to you first 
we are using the horsepower here, which is we're using BTU per hour. BTU per hour is the quantity of the heat required to raise the temperature of one pound of the water, one degree Fahrenheit. Okay, the conversion uh, horsepower to BTU per hour is uh, one point uh, oh horsepower is equal to nine thousand or to ten thousand BTU per hour. If two point oh horsepower is equal to eighteen thousand to twenty thousand horsepower. This is a, I would like to show to you how to calculate uh, BTU per hour for one building. For example, uh, we have uh, one uh, type of the building uh, room. Okay, this is the one room. Okay, this is a one room. Okay. Okay, this is one room. The size of the room in a square in feet. Okay, in feet. The size of the room in feet. For example, this is uh, ten feet. This is twenty feet. The length. Okay, the width is ten feet. Length is twenty feet, and the height is ten feet. Okay. First of all, okay. First of all, step number one. Okay, step number one. Okay, step number one. One. Okay. Why is the step one? Okay, you need to uh, find the volume of that particular uh, building. For example, here the volume. Okay, step number one, you need to calculate the room volume. Calculate room volume. Okay, which is ten. You multiply by twenty, multiply by ten, which is equal to two thousand. Okay. This is a very important. Okay, calculate the room value. This is the first step you, you need to be undertaken. Okay, second step number two. Okay, step number two. Okay, multiply the volume with six. Multiply v v multiply by six, which is two thousand. You multiply by six is two thousand. Multiply by six equal to twelve thousand. Okay, this is twelve thousand. Step number three. Step number three is step three. Okay, estimate number of people. Okay, you need to estimate number of people uh, use this particular area. For example, master bedroom. Here, a ten twenty uh, multiply by ten is uh, normally for the master bedroom. One people equal, uh, for example, this master bedroom are uh, two people here, two people, okay. Okay, one people, they will uh, produce about 500 BTU per hour. One people, that means two people, you multiply by 500 BTU per hour. Okay, that means 1000 BTU per hour. Okay, this is how to, to assume how many people that use that particular room okay and step number four step number four is a very uh, the last step is you need to add step number two and step number three which is the volume the multiply by six twelve thousand which is you add both value okay you add both value which is uh, this value twelve thousand We add by uh, with the number of people there. We assume BTU per hour uh, is one thousand. Okay, that means thirteen thousand. Therefore, the cooling capacity required thirteen thousand is equal to one point five to two point zero horsepower. Okay, this is how we calculate the the room uh, cooling capacity in one building. Very uh, simple step, steps, but uh, you need to understand these four uh, processes, main processes. Okay, I think uh, that's all for today. Uh, for more further information or you need additional references, additional drawings or detailed drawings, you can visit our website by uh, go to the openlearning.com slash courses slash SBEQ 3213X. Thank you so much. Okay. How do we?